Thank you. It's so cute. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome to a new vlog. Today's video is going to be going to the Louis Vuitton store and buying a Louis Vuitton Neverfull from the Louis Vuitton store. Crossing my fingers, they have the bag um, in stock. I have a feeling they do, don't know, um, but I do know that sometimes they don't have some of the stuff. So I'm wearing my little high-waisted skirt, got my other Louis Vuitton bag, and then my little uh, mustard color shirt. Sherry over here is wearing Hi. her black and white. I am. Today we're in this special necklace. I love this necklace. And then the rest of everything is like black. This is all black and white. We're off, off and away. I'm so excited. Most people make this disclaimer of like, I'm not trying to brag or whatever. And I'm really not. It's just, this is just like a luxury thing that I like. So I've saved up money for this. It's not like this is going to take my whole bank account. And I don't know, like I've just kind of budgeted in a sense for this. And I only have one other one. I did end up selling my other Louis Vuitton bag. So that is going to help pay for this one. So it's not like I'm just sending, I did sell something to get this bag. So I just want to make that like disclaimer. Um, I did end up selling my other bag and this is going to help pay for this one that I'm going to get. Um, and I'm filming on my phone today because I don't want them to be like, why does girl have a camera? That is why we're on the phone today. Ready, Sherry? Right, I'm ready, let's go. Okay, let's go. so we have made it to Bloomingdale's and I can barely see anything because it's super bright out, but we're ready. I'm so excited, guys. All right, there it is. I'm so excited. We're gonna go to the bathroom first though, right, Sherry? Oh, we, that must be like a men's one. Why is there like two? Oh man. Oh my gosh. <gasps> That's exactly the one I want. Oh. And you said it, you had only one? I do. This is the last one in the Rose Ballerina. Okay. Sold. Like I, you have the pouch, right? The pouch comes in it. I've been watching so many videos on this bag. <laughs> Beautiful. Okay, so Lucy, the lady helping me, she was like, oh, you should try it on and stuff. So there's this way you can wear it. And she's getting us water right now. I was hoping that they would ask us. Like, look at how cute this is. She actually cinched the sides, but you can wear it like this. And then the inside of the bag looks like so, the pink interior. Hold on, I'm like struggling here. How does it look on me, Sherry? I'm gonna take a little picture real quick. Okay, so there's my bag. The lady's been talking to me um, all this time and everything. It's so pretty in here. Sorry, I'm not getting a lot of footage. All right guys, so I got my receipt. This is the girl who helped me. And whew, my bank account's looking sad, but that's okay. That's what credit cards are for, right? Thank you. You're very it's welcome. so cute. <laughs> that's for you, dear. It's beautiful. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Absolutely. It's my pleasure. I'm so glad. Okay, so I don't know if I vlogged this, but we also got bottles of water at the Louis Vuitton store. Um, I said she was getting us water, but I don't know if I showed it in the vlog. Now we're just walking around the mall because it's not every day that you get to walk around with a Louis Vuitton bag. So yeah, I just like flipped the camera around because I can't do it while it's recording. And we went to the Hermes store too because we just got an Hermes in this place. And there was some really nice stuff there. I don't know what else I'm gonna have video. I'll probably include the unboxing in this video um, just because unboxings don't really take that long. Like it's only like one bag that I'm like gonna unbox or whatever. So I'll do that when I get home. We are just walking around. I'm probably gonna go to like Macy's or something, right? Yeah. Okay, so we got some Starbucks because Sherry was really thirsty and needed something with ice. So she got a vanilla green tea frappuccino. Yes. And I got uh, this one. It, it's my chai tea latte with two pumps of pumpkin spice. Okay, so we were going to go to um, the Ikea store, but we decided not to because we don't want to leave this thing in the car because it's kind of asking someone, hey, break in so we can steal it. So we're going to go home. I'm going to unbox it for you guys and kind of tell you why I chose the one I got and kind of like just talk it through because unboxings don't take a long time. And I just want to make this video a little longer probably um, to give it a little bit more substance. So yeah, we're just going to head home.
cherries chowing down. Green tea frappuccino. What are your thoughts on this experience? It was very fun. I love watching Alex get what she wants. She worked hard. Aw, thanks, Mommy. But um, I was, like, telling Sherry that I was nervous. Sorry the air's on. I know it's probably loud. No, it's all right. I'm hot. <laughs> I was just apologizing because it's probably in the video. I was just, like, really nervous and excited that I had, like, this light sweat on me. Yeah. I was just excited, but also nervous. Okay, so I'm just going to keep filming on my phone just so everything's pretty consistent with this video and it's not like weird. So I hope that's okay. We're gonna unbox this beautiful, beautiful bag. Let's just get started. All right, so this is what the box looks like. Beautifully packaged. Now I could untie this bow. Ooh, look how pretty it is. But I don't really want to, so I think I'm gonna slide it off. Actually, no, I'm just gonna untie it, it's fine. Cause there's this other thing that came in the box that came on the ribbon. Don't know really what this is. Oh look, it's like a little envelope. Oh, it's sealed shut. Oh, I think this is if it's a gift. It's cause it's like a blank card. Okay, so now I'm gonna uh, slide this off. Ta-da! Right, this is the magnet box. Oh, that's cool. Mother's in the background. But here it is, Louis Vuitton dust bag. Oh my gosh, this is like a huge box. Okay, I'm gonna take it out now. And I think what you can do with this is like, I don't know. I thought you could like flatten a it. Tab at the back. See the little blue tab at the back? Yeah. If you pull that. Oh yeah, I don't wanna do that. I, I just wanna keep kind of the box okay. intact. It's very cool. You can make it flat somehow. Okay. But I'm too nervous. I don't wanna like damage the box. Okay, here it is. Here's the grand reveal, guys. Dun, dun, dun. Look how beautiful. Oh my gosh. I've been waiting for this thing for so long. I'm just so excited about it. Here is the straps. With a little pochette, as you guys saw when she was showing me. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. Do they have different like colors the perfect of the insides? Style. Uh, the inside? When I mean, you have a pink color, are there different colors? Yeah, there's red. Oh. And that was I think it was on the shelf. There was one on the shelf with red. I just wonder if that was the same oh, thing. Beautiful. Like everything about it is just awesome. And like the way it fits on me. Right now I'm going to put the little bag organizer in it so you guys can see that. I'll do a whole what's in my bag, so I'm not gonna go too in depth on the bag organizer and like what's in the bag. Look at how cute the pochette is. Oh my gosh, it's so adorable. Like I will definitely be like using this as like a wristlet and stuff. Like everyone says, the zipper is perfect. Easy to open and close. So there's the inside. It has like a little pouch there and then the main pouch, like compartment thing. I'm so thrilled. So I'm gonna go get the bag organizer. So this is the bag organizer I have. This is pretty much what I have in it so far. Don't have a lot of stuff, but um, I'll link this down below if you guys want it. Um, it's not necessarily only meant for like Louis Vuitton bags or whatever. It's kind of made for the Neverfull, but you could stuff this in any other bag. I put this in my Kate Spade Kennedy in the Park Sophie tote. It would fit perfect and you could totally use it like that too. I hope it doesn't like make the bag too like structured because I kind of like how the, the Neverfull looks. Kind of like, oh, it doesn't change the shape that much. Thank goodness, because I was like nervous. I didn't want to have the you bag. Even, like be, cinch like, up the sides. Kind of. A little bit. My organizer's not that stuffed, so I could. Right, so you could. I'm not planning on it That's right nice. now. But yeah, this is what my bag looks like on the inside now, now that the organizer's in there. So it's a lot more organized. It's not so much of a bucket bag. I got a bag organizer number one because my other Neverfull would get like, my tiny one would get kind of like unorganized and stuff. And I wanted to protect the inside of this because this rose ballerine color is very like dainty and stuff. And I don't want it to get too, too messed up on the inside. So I'm gonna go into why I picked this bag and not one of the other prints. So I picked this design because Number one, color transfer. This bag, as you guys know, and I am obsessed with and love so much, like you guys don't understand. I hunted for this. I paid way too much money for this small of a bag. They're still really hard to find. Um, 
but this blue skirt I'm wearing, you see this? This whole backside turned blue. I cannot have a tote and have it change colors on me um, when I'm carrying it. So that's number one. Number two, this Vachetta strap. Just recently I got caught out in the rain. I cannot have this get wet or else there's gonna be like a bunch of marks on it. Um, I did and have used it when it was sprinkling. I knew that was gonna come with the territory when I bought this bag. Um, it does have some spots on it, but you have to be a little bit more careful with it. With this, treated leather, kind of stiff and whatever, but you can go out in the rain with it. And I'm about that life, especially when I'm carrying this like to and from work, it's always raining here in Florida. So I definitely need something that I can be kind of hard on. When I say that, it doesn't mean like I'm not gonna take care of it and not gonna like, you know, hurt it, but I just don't wanna be like babying something. And like I say, I always buy, I buy a bag to use it. I'm not gonna like keep it in its box um, for the entire duration of my owning it. I'm gonna use it, I'm gonna use it as much as I can and like get, you know, wear and tear. I understand that, but I just wanted one that I didn't have to like baby and coddle and make sure that the straps like, stayed even um that's another reason why i sold my other one so i really liked this print because of all those factors and the inside pink is one of my favorite colors obviously so i'm just like brown and pink that's just the way to go and my bag organizer matches surprisingly really really well so um, i do know that there's some bag organizers that don't look the same color as the rose ballerine but this one does so I am pleasantly surprised. Before I end this, I also wanted to show you guys if a MacBook would fit in here. This is a 13 inch and it fits comfortably in here. The bag organizer kind of makes it look funky, but actually it fits in the bag organizer, if you guys can see. So my computer can fit in here. It makes it really heavy. Oh my gosh. But fun fact, this thing can hold 200 pounds. I know that's kind of like a random fact, but I was watching videos about this bag and um, it can hold a lot. So I just wanted to show you guys that it can in fact fit a MacBook Pro. So anyway, that is going to be it for my Louis Vuitton experience slash buying something in store. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I was so excited to film it and I couldn't thank you enough for watching me and supporting me on this journey because um, you guys kind of actually helped me buy this bag in a way. I saved up a lot um, from my job and like somewhat YouTube. I do a lot of investing in my own channel, like with giveaways and stuff. So if you are new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on the bell um, because I might be having some giveaways in the future that I'm super excited about. But anyway, I'm gonna stop rambling now and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.